Hey, what's up, Lemons? Squiz Lemons here, and welcome back to another Nintendo Talk. So this week I have two stories for you, one being about Pokemon Go, and the last one being about a Pokemon uh, collaboration with a clothing line to bring some uh, new Pokemon clothes. So let's get into this Pokemon Go story just to get it over with, because everyone really wants to hear about Pokemon Go. That's all they hear all the time now anyway. But, so there's a story online about a library that had four Pokestops removed, so as in Pokemon... Uh, go are removing Pokemon stops. So this library uh, requested that their stops be removed because people were just coming in the library, just abusing everything, not really like doing anything except playing Pokemon Go in the library. Obviously, you know, using up all their electricity. That's one of the minor things they had going on. One of the things they said was people were wearing out the grass because there's probably a lot of people there, you know, outside on the grass. So I don't know, but it's a minor problem. I mean, it's grass, but I mean. One of the things was, uh, people were selling electricity, which they didn't have, you know, like, without a permit. I don't know how you're going to sell the library, public library's electricity. And then when they had, like, public library events, everyone had to park, like, blocks and blocks away because everyone else was just there collecting Pokestops. So it's not really good for a business, on a business standpoint, but it's just been plain rude. And then people are bringing, bringing uh, alcohol onto the premise, which is just, uh, hello. Like, what are you doing? It's a public library. Kids go there. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so they're really just trashing the place and just making the library pay more money and cost than what was really necessary. Uh, you know, like, more necessarily needed. So, I think that's kind of trashy, and I think people should have responsibility for themselves. I mean, it's a Pokemon game. I know I know if you have four Poke, or four Poke stops like, in the same area, then that's great, but just put your... Just put your lures there, and then just, when those are done, just, I mean, leave. I mean, you could at least, you know, buy a book or rent a movie or something from there. I know some libraries do that, some don't. I mean, you can at least, like, use the library services, get a book, you know. Hey, if you're playing Pokemon Go, get a Pokemon book. I don't know, get a Pokemon book for your kid. I don't know, do something. But you can at least do it in an adult manner instead of just like selling electricity bringing alcohol and just trashing the whole entire place and making it so people have to park like five blocks away just get to a public library event that'll probably last like an hour and a half to two to hours tops but that's just crazy but uh yes yeah, so that's what i think about that so our next story here is about the in the company insert coin clothing and the pokemon company will be team, teaming up to bring a special 20th anniversary clothing line which features some of the uh, first-gen Pokemon, such as Charmander, Snorlax, Magikarp, Jigglypuff, and Pikachu. And it turns out if you are in the UK, then you can get a sneak peek at the uh, pop-up show at the London Brewery between uh, the 25th and 30th of August. So the pop-up show will showcase Pokemon memorabilia, and rumor has it that Pikachu will also be making an appearance to the special occasion. So I think that's really cool that they're doing like a kind of like a pop-up show, like a fashion show for all these new Pokemon garments. And if you don't know what kinds of things Insert Clothing does, they do a lot of gaming merchandise, like or I guess not merchandise but clothing. So they do all, like Assassin's Creed or Uncharted or or Korof, you know, just anything uh, gaming that's on the open. So now that they're bringing Pokemon to that, that'll be really cool. I know the Pokemon Center has a lot of uh, PokemonCenter.com. I know they have a lot of. Um, Pokemon mem memorabilia and stuff as well, but now that we get like another place to get it, as you know, and more a lot more stuff to being added, which will be uh, really cool. Maybe we can get a lot of hoodies or pants or something, just Pokemon full costumes. I don't know, like Pokemon robes or something like that. So I think that's actually really cool and great that uh, Pokemon is the uh, Pokemon company is starting to team up with other people instead of just kind of doing it on their own. So maybe we can get some more collaborations. Maybe they can uh, collaborate with like a car company and get like a Pokemon like car. I don't know. <laughs> that's just kind of weird. But uh, yeah, so that's all the news I have for you today, guys. So if you did enjoy, please slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys on the next Nintendo Talk. Bye.